Following up with the previous lesson, we're going to create a drop zone that allow user to drag and drop images, and then they will be uploaded automatically to the Cloudinaries. Now, the library that we're going to use is React Drop Zone. If you go into the github.com slash React Drop Zone and direct Drop Zone, and here's the one. You can scroll a bit down to see how to install it and how to use it. All right. Now let's go back to our project, front end project. And first I'm going to click on the terminal, press Ctrl C to stop server. Just create it up. And then I'm going to run npm install and the name of it, react, that's drop zone at 11.3.2. All right, cool. So once it's done, uh, it's time for us to create our um, container. All right, we're gonna name it as image drop zone. So let's right click on the containers, create a new file name image drop zone dot js. All right. So in here, first I'm going to import the spinner. We get it from React Bootstrap then impose the from react drop zone we're going to import a hook name is drop zone yep import react from of course react and inside here we need to get the hooks uh use callback and you state and then import the uh, styled from styled components all right and lastly we're going to import the function from apis all right the function that we're going to import is uh, upload image the one that we just uh, defined from the previous video all right upload image Okay, uh, before going to the um, image drop zone component, let's quickly create a style component name, drop zone. All right, it's just a name. Uh, you can name it to anything and equal style dot div backstick. All right, so inside here, we're going to define uh, a couple of things. First, we define the border. It's gonna be one pixel uh, dash and version is um sorry it's the color c e d 49 and then border radius radius uh we set to five pixel color uh set to 60 uh 75 and 70. all right i think that's it and then display we say flex like item items like item this would be our center and justify content center of course and for the high we set to uh, one for two pixel and then for the image inside the div uh, we set it height say 140 pixel all right i think that's about it all right next we're going to create our functional component so function and we're going to name it to uh, let's say image drop zone so in here we're going to pass the an object with the value and on change callback all right so inside here we're going to define a constant state named loading and of course we set have a set loading equal to use state now by default we set to false all right so this loading uh, variables um, indicating whether the process is still loading or not so we're going to display the spinner and then we're going to display the uh, on drop function equal use callback 
So here we're going to pass the accepted files. Right. Uh, we might want to put the console log of the accepted files and see what it looks like. All right, and then set loading to false. No, first you set loading to true to start the process. And then you're going to run the uh, upload image. And we're going to pass the accept five. And because of we just uh, drag and drop one five only, so the accept five we say the first index of the array because uh, so that's mean only one item passed. All right, because uh, this one is a synchronous process. So um, we might want to use the uh, then in this case. So I might say dot then, and here we're gonna pass the JSON. It will return back to the JSON. And then we say, if it returns JSON successfully, then we're going to execute the onChange function and pass the JSON.ul. All right, and finally, we just need to execute this function, which is we set the loading to false. All right, and then after that, we just pass the an array, uh, an empty array. All right, as the second parameter of the uh, callback. So first we got this function. All right, and then we got commas and pass the empty array all right um, if you want you can go back to um, the github and look at looking at the usage so here is the uh, simple code that we're going to use and actually I might want to grab this one we already done that part all right we already done that and now I'm gonna grab this part just copy it let's go back here so under the on drop function, I'm going to pass it. All right, so we don't need the is drug active here, so we'll just remove it. Okay, so inside the is drop zone, we're going to display um, define a couple of things. So I'm going to say commas and for multiple, we say to false because we just want to upload um, only one image and for the accept. We say image slash star commas. All right. Okay, so inside this one, uh, instead of saying the div, we're going to display the drop zone. All right. And of course, drop zone. The drop zone that we define up here, remember, the style components. So instead of using a div, we use our own div name drop zone all right so we got this one input okay that's good so i'm going to remove everything inside here and instead we're going to use our own one so here first i'm going to check if we have the value then we're going to display something otherwise we display something else all right so in this case if value um, is true then we're going to display an image like that and the source we're going to say value all right so otherwise um well in this case we're going to check uh an other things so i'm going to say i'm going to check if loading we might want to put it like this we're going to check if loading has a value then we're going to display some things Otherwise, we display the, the last one, all right, which is this one. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to display a spinner. The spinner, we set the variance equal standard. Animation, uh, we set border. And then for the row, we set to status. All right. Otherwise, we just display a span, um, say drop and drop five here, or click to select 
five all right and lastly we just say export default image drop zone all right he's safe so basically we just uh, define our own image drop zone uh, container um, the reason we put it inside the container because uh, in later state we're going to use this uh, component in the different places so that's why you can see the uh, powerful uh, react component that is uh, reusable you just write once and you can use it in multiple places which is real nice all right next we're going to update our plates form all right remember that in the previous once you click on this one this one is a blitz form so now instead of showing the uh, text to type the URL image we're going to replace this one with the image drop zone so the user just need to drag and drop the image into here all right so let's open our source container blitz form uh, first up here I need to import the image drop zone from image drop zone yeah and then let's scroll down inside the return inside the uh, form group image right so we no longer need the form control so I'm gonna remove it and instead I'm gonna display the image drop zone and we're gonna pass the value equal image and for the on change we're going to execute the set image all right the set image which is the um, set image inside the use state all right he's safe all right moment of truth um oh okay before that we need to run npm start because uh, we just stopped the server before to install the library so we need to start it again all right, still running. All right, so now if you click on add a new place, now you can see that the image is now uh, start with the image drop zone, beautiful. So now I can say, um, just create a new one, stack house, and then I'll just uh, drag and drop a photos into here, spinner running, which is good. All right, stack house, beautiful. Now let's see what's happening when you hit add. Hey, you just create a new one, stack how immediately, beautiful. And also we can go back to our admin dashboard, click on places, stack house, click on here. And now we can see that the URL is actually come from the Cloudinary demo C4S and image, which is uh, this link. All right, we can double check that by going back to your uh, Cloudinary click on the dashboard well actually you need to click on the media libraries all right so now we just click on QR menu photo which is the uh, photo that we start our photo and here we go we got the steakhouse beautiful so now you learn how to work with the cloudinary service and how to upload image from the local machine up to the, on the cloud easily all right, in the next video, we're going to quickly update our homepage and I'll see you then.